Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Michael. I'm the developer behind Oka Software. We make game assets for Unity. If you enjoy this content, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the necessary steps to upgrade Puto from um, the current version on the asset store to be compatible with Unity 2022. Uh, basically, you'll, uh, I'll just walk through, you know, like walking up and creating a new project. Um, and then I'll show the steps to uh, do that. So we'll just start by going here and then creating a new project in 2022. The version that I have is 2022.2, um, but this should work on any version of 2022.2 um, or later. So I'll just name this Buto Upgrade Demo. Um, I'll create the project. We're gonna go ahead and click open the window, click the package manager, we're gonna go to the assets, and we're gonna look for Buto. I think it's always best just to update to the latest version just to make sure that you're always on the latest release. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then after doing that, we'll import Buto into the project. So we'll just wait as this downloads. And then we'll import the project. Now we're just importing Buto into the project. And once it's fully imported, I'll show you the issue that you'll probably experience with Buto in 2022.2. And then I'll show you the steps that you'll need to take in order to resolve that issue. Um, so we'll just go to Oka Software, Buto, Demo Resources, Levels, and then the Demo Scene. Um, so right away, you can see that nothing's present in the scene. That's because you'll need to go to your settings, your renderer, add a renderer feature, and then add the Buto renderer feature. So now you can see Butos present in the scene, but you might see some artifacts around different elements of the scene. I'll zoom in so you can see it more clearly. You can see around these objects, there's a sort of black boundary, this black border. And you can also see that the fog actually you might, might not be obvious if you're not familiar with this fog product, but um, the fog is actually not rendering correctly. And you'll see these um, sort of black mounds appearing in the background periodically back here so this is all not correct and um, there's actually a relatively simple um, thing that you can do that will fix this for you so basically we'll just need to go to our asset resources our shaders and then our shader resources um, and we'll need to change each one of these shader graphs to uh, be a full screen shader instead of being an unlit shader so recently Unity introduced the new full screen shader type. Um, and with that change, um, they changed something about the unlit shader type. And so now we need to make sure that these are updated to the full screen. Since Buto is developed for 2022, 2021.3, um, where which the full screen isn't available in that release, uh, we're not able to do that directly from 2021.3. Um, and so you'll have to do that here. So you'll just go through and you'll click full screen here and you'll just save it and you'll do that for each one of these shader graph assets. Make sure that you don't miss any. So we're just going through each one of these assets, opening it up going to the graph inspector and then the graph settings and then going to the material and changing it from unlit to full screen. Okay, so that should be all of the different assets. And now if we go back here, you'll see that the fog is now rendering uh, correctly. Um, so you no longer see that the sort of background is uh, very clear and transparent and you no longer have those black borders around the objects in the scene. So um, all in all, it's a pretty straightforward uh, fix. You just need to go to each one of these different shader graphs, go to your material and change it from unlit to full screen. Um, and that will get the asset working properly. You don't need to delete this node, um, but you can if you want to, uh, but there's no need to do that. You'll need to do this um, each time that you download a new update for Buto, um, since the 
uh, materials will be imported as unlit. So just keep that in mind in case uh, when you upgrade, you encounter some issues. Okay. Thanks very much for watching. If you do encounter any other issues with 2022.2, um, definitely let me know. I'm here to help. And in the meantime, I'll include a link uh, to these steps as well uh, on the website in the description and also a link to Buto itself um, in the description as well. All right. Thanks for watching.